little bumpy out here tonight. I wanted to, I wanted to like take a little video and be like, hey, people, you should come fly with me. And it's just like, well, the, well, my phone's jumping around all over the place. Hello. It is a lovely evening here at the airport, a little windy, but we'll come to that later. And I am here once again with Victor Oscar Tango. And I'm just going to do some circuits. I need to keep my uh, night currency and my... I'll explain it in a voiceover or something. So I need to do at least five takeoffs and landings at night, uh, and night starts in uh, about 15 minutes. So I'm not going to be up by then, but uh, yeah. Let's see how it goes. I also have a new camera to try shooting out the front, so we'll see if I get good nighttime footage. It's cold. Here we go. Catalyst Radio Golf Victor Oscar Tangles holding short of zero nine on Alpha. Roger, Victor zero nine. Well, here we go. My first flight in quite some time. Oh, they turned the light on. They turned the lights on for me down there. How nice of them. All right, here we go. Let's, let's see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> if I don't, then maybe, I'll, hopefully I'll at least make the news. All right, there's the center, get on the center line. All right, so get that right rudder in there. Heels to the floor, full throttle. T and P's are in the green, pretty much. Hit that nose up. And we're climbing. The night circuits are quite a bit longer. I'm going to... Uh, not cut it too, too close. Normally, by now, 1,700 feet, I would be turning. But again, not going to worry about that. Um, I'm a little bit fast. Feet a bit fine. Get my nose up, climb a bit higher here. Could make sure I climb up to circuit altitude. Well, I mean, it's been a minute. It has been an minute. Level off with attitude. Power back to cruise. A little bit higher than I'd like. A little bumpy tonight, too. Do one nice long circuit to test my new camera out. My original thought was to do this during the day, to be honest with you. I was just, cause I just haven't flown in a while, so I was like, oh, I'll just go flying. And then I remembered, well, actually, I haven't flown at night since I got my night rating, so I should probably do my night flights. My night, uh, my night, keep my night currency. Yeah, I was originally going to come out last night, and uh, but the plane was in for maintenance, and it wasn't quite done. <laughs> <laughs> they came up with something they had to try and deal with. So, because um, last night conditions were great, winds were calm. It would have been lovely last night. Oh well, yeah, I think we're probably good here. I'm gonna let's keep this straight. So, throttle to 1500. Let the nose dip. Nose is dipping. Let's turn. What should we call it? I saw a flashing light over there. I did not. All right. So I see the run runways in sight. Obviously, still seeing circuits. Don't see anything on coming in on final. Getting ready to turn final. Flaps 20. Let the flaps extend here, and then we'll quickly turn. Should have had my flaps out a bit sooner. The coordinated, we're not too bad. The cross Tango's final 09, touch and go. The cross Tango, Roger. Okay, so a little off, a little off center. That's okay. We'll slip over and get back where we need to be. All right, so that's a little better. So I'm a little low right now, so I'm going to put some power in. I'm also going to add extra flaps we need. I want to extend our glide a little bit. All right, so a little bit of trim to kind of help keep me pointing in the right direction. And uh, you know we're we're extending our glide quite nicely, and we have a oh, we have a bit of a headwind actually. I'm going to put way more power in. I forgot about the headwind. That is going to slow me down significantly. Okay, so note to self, let's make our let's make our base and final turns a little bit shorter. Now we're getting a little bit high. I'm going to pull a bit more power out. Got flaps 30. Yes, we do. I got flaps 30. How about you? This very moment is when I'm regretting doing this at night. <laughs> I'm just like, I should have gone flying during the day first. I'm sitting here kind of going like, that runway is real dark. And it's coming at me. And I need to hit it. I need to actually get, do a touch and go. I can't like do a go around. That doesn't count as a landing if I don't do a go around. So, or if I do a go around. So I need to actually like hit this runway. Not hit it as such, but very gently touch the runway and then take off again. All right, still pretty well lined up. Tap dancing on the rudders. Trying to keep uh, keep. Oh, okay, a little lost there now. 
Now we're descending a little bit. Now we're going to go over this service road. It's going to get a little bit bumpy here. Expecting some bumps with the wind that we're getting. Line for the greens. Here we go. Coming in nice. This has been good so far. So far, so good. I can see the numbers. Okay, I got the runway. Okay, going to slowly pull the power. Pull it to cruise. Radio, hello again. Jazz 66 in the handoff for the Arnaz uh, Zulu 09. Jazz 66, Gals Radio, hello again. Squawk out in. Pulled way too hard there. All right, there we go. Traffic left. All right, so that was awful. Uh, I pulled way too aggressively, but we got it down, right? I put a bit of power in just to kind of slow my descent. A little bit hard, a little bit of a hard landing. Not, that's definitely not as soft as I would have liked, but not terrible. Not terrible. I had to essentially do soft field technique to try and get my, uh, try and not crash into the ground, but we did it. That's our first takeoff and our first landing. All right, so we're on instruments, everything looks good, headings holding. A little bit slow on the climb out there, I should have had my nose slightly farther forward. And good thing just wait till I get up, I'm going to give myself a little bit more space. Wait till I get up to my altitude. Or roughly, anyway, let me get the circuit height. Level it off, attitude. Nose to cruise, or nose to level, power to cruise. That's a little better. All right, let's turn crosswind. Here we go. Oof, goodness. Why don't, why don't all my turns feel super aggressive? Victor Oscar Tango's downwind, 09, touch and go. Hey, Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Traffic update uh, coming up to the west end of Kamloops Lake uh, for runway 09 to Q400. And they are estimating now in about uh, seven minutes. Traffic's inside Victor Oscar Tango. I'll keep this one in tight to take it off the runway before they get here. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Is this full stop? Uh, it's touch and go. Here, Roger. All right, so we have our goal. Yeah, I can see the plane off in the distance. I gotta be down, landed, and back on, back off the runway before they get here, and then I'm gonna make my next circuit. I'm gonna take my sweet time and uh, give them all the time in the world to make sure that uh, I'm not in their way. All right, we are on final. We're super high up in the air. Let's get flaps 30 in there. All right, keep that nose down. Power is good. We're start dropping a little bit. Uh, actually, I'm starting to sink. I might put a bit of power. Oh, I'm really sinking now. Put a bit of power in there. Again, headwind. I'm going super slowly right now. I'm doing 48 knots over the ground. That plane coming in behind me is going significantly faster. All right, so this time, Paul, don't yank on the yoke so hard. Gentle. Just, just be gentle. All you got to do is mental. A bit more power out. I mean, technically I've made the runway here. I can see the numbers, just. All right, power to idle. Pull to cruise. Oh, goodness, that was not great. The problem is when I'm coming, I'm transitioning too late, and so I'm kind of floating on the ground way too close to the ground, so I'm not giving myself time to pull up. So what I need to do is just level out a little bit sooner, and then just kind of gently, or just like level out, you know, just le level out earlier. Give myself more time to transition into the flare and all that stuff. Everything will be fine. Was that two or was that three? First one was okay. Second one. Is that two or three? I don't I've lost count. So this time I'm going to transition at a much higher altitude. Say much higher, it'll be like a couple feet. And then we're gonna try a nice gentle flare. And we're gonna see what happens. Alright, I can see the numbers. Pull the power out. Nose pointing okay, down. Yeah, I got you. It's like for about an hour from now or so. But uh, yeah. 0400, I'll put on request. Okay, very good, thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess Big we're, balloon. Uh, trying to work a little uh, early uh, ahead of schedule tonight. Roger. Oof. 
That was a bad one. Had a massive balloon there. Wow, that was bad. My transition was way nicer. Felt really good, felt really controlled. And then as soon as I started, felt like I was starting to sink a little bit, started to pull up. And as soon as I pulled the stick back, it was way, like, way back up in the air. And I didn't put enough power in to like, slow my descent down. So that was not a great landing right there. I'd like to have one nice landing, but honestly, it's been a while. And it's nighttime, and it's windy, and whatever else. So for my first flight in a while, Really can't complain too much. Oops, that's my altitude. Final still looks clear. There's like a star or a, or a planet or a satellite or something over there that I'm looking at going like, hmm, what is, is that a plane? No, no, that's just a celestial body. Okay, we're a little bit low. I'm going to leave the flaps out for a second just so I get a little, a little closer to the runway. Just so we can get there a little bit faster. That nose pointing out, okay, I'm nowhere close to the runway right now. And once again, final for next to the runway. All right, let's go flaps 30 now. A little bit of power out to compensate. That nose down. We are descending very gently, which is fine by me. All right, so again, transition a little bit higher. Then take your time. Just very minute, very minute. Just little, just little touching, just little, little tiny pulls. Starting to sink a little bit. Touch more power. Maybe a bit more power. Ground's coming at me a little faster than I'd like. All right, nice and easy. Made the runway. See the numbers. Oop, bit of a gust there. Oh, goodness. All right, here we go. So gently pulling the power. Oh my goodness, wow, what happened there? Now that, was a landing right there. That was, that was sweet. That was, wow. I'm very happy with that one. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm gonna have to watch the video on that one. Like I was, I was ready to go. And as soon as I pulled the power out, suddenly I was like over in the river. Like, I have no idea what happened there. Did I make one a full stop? I might do one more just to be safe. And I mean the practice, right? Uh, either way, let's turn crosswind. We'll do one more touch and go, and then we'll do a full stop. Just because I wouldn't mind having one solid landing today. Honestly, this has been kind of fun. It's been a little intense. I definitely, uh, I definitely, the thing about night flying is, night flying's cool. You know what I mean? I'm cool with night flying. Um, it's just kind of hard to see. Slight crosswind from the left. Not great. Just slight, though. It's not, like, not really significant. Right, let's get back over the middle of the runway here. All right, and pull the power out gently this time. Keep the plane over the center of the runway. Tap dancing on the rudders. Bit of power. We had a bit of a balloon there. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. It wasn't great. Uh, a little bit, out, a little bit out of control toward the end. There still had a bit of a balloon. Again, you know, bad things are happening. I mean, to be fair, it's my fault, um, but I'm compensating for it, I am, like, realizing the bad thing is happening, I'm doing the thing that I need to do to compensate for it, so, definitely rusty, you know, it's definitely been, you know, a while since I've flown, but honestly, I'm, I'm, I can't be mad at this, I honestly cannot be mad at this. Somebody driving down there on the road but below me, and they are probably wondering why they can't see anymore, because my landing light was right in their face. Alright, let's make this a good one. Let's make this a good one. Do our best to make this a good one. Try and make this a good one. Let's just try not to screw up. How about that? <laughs> 60, that's good. Tap dancing on the rudders. There we go. Got the ground the runway in sight. Can see the numbers. Alright, gonna pull the rest of the power out. Pull it to cruise. Gotta keep pulling, keep pulling. Bit of power to settle again. Again, the wind is keeping me in the air. Ooh, okay. Again, not great, <laughs> to be fair, but I was compensating, right? When things were going wrong, I was making adjustments. I was, you know, doing the thing it take, doing the thing you gotta do to, to 
to, to make good things happen. So, yeah. Not mad at that. So, yeah, that was uh, my like, kind of fun. It was nice to kind of get back in the saddle again after a long winter and stuff, even though you're probably watching this in, like, the fall or whatever. Um, but, yeah, like I mentioned in a previous video, i got to try and pad this out as much as possible. So, anyways, that's really all there is for this one. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a month. Okay, bye. My goal for this year is to buy enough to keep posting a video every month. We shall see. We shall see how it goes. Because let me tell you, this flying is uh, expensive. Yeah, I still, gotta, I still wanna try and post a video every month. If I can do it through 2023, there's a decent chance I'll be able to do it through 2024 and going forward that way. Unless, of course, you know, there's another war somewhere and the price of fuel goes to the roof again or something, and I just never get to fly again. In which case, the... the I guess I'll have to change my channel name to, like, Paul Went Flying, or Paul Used to Go Flying or something, I don't know.